Good evening, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to tackle something tonight that disturbed me when I was doing a Google search for um, the Book of Revelation commentary. I often do uh, searches uh, just to see what different uh, people's takes are on the Book of Revelation commentaries, their interpreta interpretation, etc., etc. But I found something very disturbing, and I wanted to share it with you, and I think it's important that you know that there are people out there that are, um, I would say, a bit crazy about this, and also just, I think it validates the fact that the pre-tribulation rapture is true, and this uh, website is definitely being used by the devil. I definitely believe this. So the website is called revelationscriptures.com. And it's under an article t entitled, Pre-Trib Rapture Lie, Death Sentence at Revelation 22, 18 and 19, and Jeremiah 14, 13 through 16. So, this heading is, Pre-Trib Rapture Lie Exposed by the Book of Revelation, God's Death Sentence for Pre-Trib Rapture Teachers and Believers. Number one, Death by Plagues, and he uses Revelation 19, 18 through 19, stating adding and subtracting to Revelation's only stated timing of salvation and reward in the sixth seal and seventh trumpet, and two, death by sword and famine, according to Jeremiah 14, 13 through 16, lying prophets preaching assured peace instead of preparing for sword and famine in the second, third, and fourth seals. So, his reasoning behind this is that there's a death penalty for pre-trib rapture believers because we add and subtract to God's word. So his reasoning goes like this. Since pre-tribulation rapture teachers and believers subtract Revelation's timing for salvation and rewarding and add another timing, Yahweh's plagues and death sentence of Revelation 22 applies. I warn everyone who hears the words of this prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. So what he is saying is that us pre-trib rapture believers deserve the death penalty because we are adding and subtracting from God's word. Because, it says, according to him, the seventh trumpet is the first and only time rewarding is mentioned in the seven trumpets. Revelation 11, 15 through 18, then the seventh angel blew his trumpet. Trumpet, In the time for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and for those who fear your name, both small and great. So here is what you called eisegesis, brothers and sisters, where you take a scripture verse completely out of its context and apply it to basically condemning a group of Christians for supposedly adding and subtracting to God's word. But that's not all. He says that we deserve the death penalty by sword and famine, Jeremiah 14. He says, expect the death penalty for pre-tribulation rapture teachers and believers according to God's word. At Jeremiah 14, the lying prophets of Jeremiah's time were teaching assured peace instead of preparing Israel for the coming sword and famine. Similarly, today's lying prophets are deceptively teaching God's people will not see sword and famine in the second, third, fourth seals of Revelation, but instead will have assured peace by rapture before these events. Ironically, he says, Jeremiah 14, Yahweh demands the death sentence for the lying prophets and believers by sword and famine, since the said or believed they were going to escape the sword or famine. Listen to what else he says. In the near future, instead of the rapture, expect pre-trib rapture teachers and believers to be targeted and exterminated by God's arrows in the first through fourth seals, also called the beginning of birth pains. Escapism in the Bible was only taught by the false and lying prophets. All faithful men and women from Genesis to Revelation were never removed from trials, persecution, and tribulation, but were required to endure them. Has anybody shared Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 that we will escape the hour of trial that will come upon the earth with this guy? I don't think so. Then he goes a step further and says that the prosperity movement is tied to the pre-trib rapture. And he states again, Jeremiah 14. So he says, pre-trib pre -trib and prosperity movements were tried during Jeremiah's time with deadly consequences. So here's another example of how the devil uses tares among the wheat to discourage 
people that believe in the rapture and a pre-tribulation rapture and tries to pronounce judgment using the word of God, or I should say twisting the word of God through isogesis, which means isolated, isolating the scriptures out of their context and scaring the living daylights out of them. And then he uses what seems to be a very convincing scripture. And it's under the headline, No Pre-Trib Rapture for Smyrna, Revelation 2.10. Do not fear what you're about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. So he says, Christ's exact words to the church of Smyrna are the exact opposite of the pre-tribulation rapture teaching. Pre-trib rapture teaches that the seven churches of Revelation will be raptured before the great tribulation in Matthew 24. He says the problem is Christ's words say the exact opposite. So what do, what do you say, brothers and sisters, regarding Revelation 2.10, where Christ tells Smyrna, you are about to suffer. The devil is about to throw some of you in prison. You will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death. So again, this is just another example of people that are hating, mocking, and scoffing the pre-tribulation rapture view, and then even going so far as to say that we deserve the death penalty by sword and famine because we add and subtract to Revelation and we somehow apply verses that he likes to apply to the tribulation or to the rapture. Brothers and sisters, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this type of thing. I think it's important that we expose this. You know, I could have kept quiet about this, but I was so upset about um, websites such as revelationscriptures.com that I had to point it out and expose it for what it really is, uh, an absolute trick of the evil one. God bless.